Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make the best skin glow in DaVinci Resolve. This skin glow is actually like, probably in my opinion, the best one you can make on DaVinci Resolve. It is, it literally looks like you just made it out of After Effects. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So I already have my velocity set. I have a lot of velocity tutorials uh, on my channel. So make sure you go check those out. This is just focused on the skin glow. Uh, and yeah, cause I, I didn't really want to go over the whole velocity. Uh, considering that there are so many tutorials on my channel on how to make good velocity. So now that you have your clip with the velocity and just everything synced, I'm actually gonna add a song, I forgot to add that. Uh, I'll add Look At Me by XXS Tentacion. Uh, and I'm just gonna find the main beat drop. I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. And I'm gonna add a marker right here, uh, click M, and just line it up with the clip, uh, and, oh no, I just here, but I'm just gonna line it up with the clip, <coughs> and line it back out, so, it should look like this, and for me it's gonna be laggy, cause I'm recording, but, it kinda syncs, it's pretty good for now, and now what you're gonna wanna do, is, uh, split the clip, uh, on the first speed point that you've added and split it on the kill so basically uh, You have the clip you have two sections on the side and one section in the middle What you're going to do now with the split section is click alt on your keyboard And make sure that you have the middle clip selected and drag it up one layer So basically you should have two layers uh, Just like that you guys probably should know this because I've made multiple skin glow tutorials on my channel as well and now go into the color tab, which is this tab right here with like the color or like the rainbow and like a circle. And now just keyframe color corrector one. And I'm just gonna stretch this out. And Vinci's bugging right now, but it's okay. You guys don't really need to see this perfectly. And uh, right now I have my character right here. It's not really that easy to see, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna pretend that I'm masking it out. So how you do that, how you mask out, is click this little pen right here and basically just outline the character to the best of your ability. Obviously right now, I am not doing it to the best of my ability. I'm just doing a nice like, sketch of an outline. Uh, and once, let's say you are done. Uh, actually, it's not even a bad skin glow to be honest, or a bad mask. Once, like let's say you're done, uh, if you keyframe cor corrector one, uh, go to the next frame and just adjust it so basically like there's not too much space outside of the character. And like let's see right here in the pants or like around the pants, you want to make sure that just it outlines around like perfectly the pants. So like basically just make sure that you can only see the character in like no space around him or her. So and like you can curve it like that. Uh, you can. You can do a lot of cool stuff with masking, so I'd say just like work around it and like play with it a bit and get used to masking uh, Because it is like such a useful feature in DaVinci Resolve But once you get to the end, you have to like I'd recommend going frame by frame because it'll probably make the mask more precise Once you go to the end uh, What you're gonna want to do Is basically uh, Just make sure that everything is masked everything. Let's just say that everything is masked I'll see you guys once uh, I'm done masking. Alright guys, so now that you've fully masked your character, uh, click on this little grid right here, like the one that has like the clip in it, and right click and click add alpha output and connect the blue to like the blue dot. They should just make it so you can see it in the edit tab. Uh, and now what you're going to want to do is go back into the edit tab. Alright, so you guys, once you guys are back in the edit tab, I do have my masking up here, I made it in After Effects, but it doesn't have to be in After Effects, it could be in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve still does a decent job of doing it, I just prefer After Effects. And uh, now that you're done with that, uh, what you're going to want to do is go back into the Fusion tab, and I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Uh, uh, that should be good. And now, go into your file explorer and go to wherever you downloaded my presets. So, I'm going to go to Windows, SPR 7. Uh, best skin glow DaVinci, and I'm just gonna add background CC. Uh, this comes with a lot of things. Uh, this kind of like Erpies uh, that he made a while back, but I made a little tweaks to it. 
And uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. And I did S underscore hue sap bright, so basically you can switch around the color. So just play around with it. I'm just gonna choose, I really like this right here. It looks really nice in my opinion. And now that you guys have done that, go back into the edit tab. And you guys should see something that looks like this. It looks really cool. And uh, now, click on the on like the video that you've masked, and click Alt and drag it up one layer, just like that. And you should have two of those now. And now, go in back into the Fusion tab. Make sure that the top clip is selected, like the top one, and delete what you've just added. And now, click Fire Skin Glow. Uh, it should be a skin glow just like this and once I connect it, it should be nice All right, so this is how it should look like and if you guys think that like the glow is too much Maybe turn the glow noise down to like 1.7. I'd recommend that I'd recommend that setting. It's really good and uh, uh, I also added s underscore hue set right to this because again you can switch to whatever color you want I actually recommend using a color pretty similar to like the background CC or maybe you want to choose something different that could also look nice so I'm actually gonna choose something different I'm feeling different so I'm gonna choose red like fire around there and it should look like this go back into the edit tab and it should look like this uh, I'm actually gonna switch it because that doesn't look that great I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna go with the star of my plane I'm just gonna put it to like light blue or something that looks nice and yeah it looks like this now, uh, and now that you've done that, go back into the fusion tab of like the top one, and this should be like the one where you added the rays and stuff. Now, uh, drag in displacement maps uh, 20, just dragging it in, and now search for displace, and connect displace to everything at, at the end, make sure it's at the end, and just connect this media in too, just only to the displace. Not to nothing else, just this place. And I'm actually gonna switch the color again because I'm just gonna switch it to that. And I'm also gonna switch this color. This is just my switching. You guys don't have to follow exactly what I do, you don't even have to follow anything that I do. But so I found one that actually looks really good uh, purple and pink with red. This looks insane in my opinion. And now we're almost done here. Just like one more thing uh, make sure that you have selected both of the maskings and drag them up one layer or maybe two layers I don't really know and now go into the effects tab right here and drag in an adjustment clip and trim it and like line it up with the masking so basically make sure that goes directly under the masking and it's just as short as the masking and now uh, go into open effects and type in looks and here uh, you guys can do like whatever look you want I recommend just keeping the look dark. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm putting curves and hue slash saturation and HSL color. So these are the simple ones. For HSL color, this what does basically isolates a single color. So if I wanna just isolate, uh, let's say I just wanna isolate the color purple, uh, I'll just isolate purple by itself. So, so you can see there's just the scar right there is purple and it isolates that singular color. Uh, but I'm gonna actually isolate light blue uh, and I'm just gonna put it to minus or to zero and I'm just gonna put the purple back down and now you see that there's a bit of blue on the screen uh, now you can, for the hue size saturation uh, you can change the hue to whatever you want uh, and I'll switch it to a color similar to my skin glow so I'll, I'll do around there and my curves I'll make that a bit darker uh, yeah that should be good and I'm just gonna switch this like that. That should be good right there. And yeah, as you can see, it makes it look really like a lot better. And now for the final step in this whole tutorial, it's really easy actually. All you have to do is fade in everything. So how you do that is uh, drag or just uh, like just select one, one of them. And right here, you should see two rectangles, one in the top right, one in the top left. Drag the left triangle. So basically, it like it ends or it's like you see it like in the middle and just do that for everything I'd recommend just fading in everything at around like the same area and fade in obviously the the what's it called the build up as well so as you can see everything should look like this
if you guys did follow the tutorial, it should look something a bit like this. And yeah, that's how you do, in my opinion, what is the best skin glow in uh, DaVinci Resolve. So if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to drop a like, obviously subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.